so Tears of Guthix is a super short but super useful quest that lets you play the Tears of Guthix minigame, which gives you easy experience in your lowest level. You will need to have 43 quest points, 49 fire making, 20 crafting, and 20 mining. There's no fighting in this quest so combat skills aren't necessary. There aren't any required quests, but you get a pretty hefty shortcut if you've completed the Lost Tribe quest. So for items, it starts in Lumbridge, so grab a Lumbridge teleport to get there. For inventory, you will need a bullseye lantern, a cut sapphire, a chisel, a tinder box, any pickaxe you can use, and a rope. Also, I'd recommend bringing a couple of energy potions, a teleport out, and a spiny helmet or slayer helmet if you haven't completed the Lost Tribe quest. The first step is to make the sapphire lantern. Simply use your sapphire on your bullseye lantern and then use your tinder box on it to light it. So to get to the start of the quest, there is an entrance through the Lumbridge Swamp Caves. If you have completed the Lost Tribe quest, you can use the shortcut in the basement of the Lumbridge Castle. You can skip ahead to see that method. If you haven't completed the Lost Tribe quest, you have to run to the entrance in the Lumbridge Swamp here. I'm going to cover that way first. Once you've run there, make sure your lantern is lit and go down the hole. If this is your first time visiting the Lumbridge Swamp Caves, you will need to use your rope first. Also, if you've brought your spiny helmet, go ahead and wear it so you're protected from the wall beasts. Once you're in the cave, run all the way west. Then go south, then turn east again, past some jellies and another wall beast. Keep going east, you'll pass another wall beast. Okay, this one tried to smack me, but I'm protected with my spiny helmet. Pass the third wall beast and then jump south across the river using the stepping stone. And south, you'll find a tunnel entrance along the south wall. Go on through. Okay, going to go over the Lost Tribe shortcut. Feel free to skip ahead. For the Lost Tribe shortcut, go into the Lumbridge Castle and then go through the trap door in the kitchen. Go through the hole in the east wall, making sure your sapphire lantern is lit. Now just run south past our goblin friend here and through the hole in the wall. Now keep running south to the river crossing. You don't actually need a spiny helmet at all, I just put mine on because I couldn't remember if there were any wall beasts. And there aren't. So jump across the river using the stepping stone and then enter the tunnel to the south. Okay, excellent. That's actually the hardest part of the quest. Next, run east along the path and then climb down the rocks here. Keep going and you'll find Juno the snake. Talk to her and she says she wants you to tell her story because she's super bored of guarding the Tears of Guthic's cave. Bored to tears? Sorry. Say okay and you'll tell her a story of one of your past quests. She says that she'll let you into the cave but you need a special stone bowl to catch the tears. To get the special stone, run back up the path and climb the rock. You'll see this floating light thing. Use your sapphire lantern on the light creature and it will come pick you up and take you across the cavern. Okay, yeah, that that's happening. Hmm. Next, grab your pickaxe and then mine one of the rocks. You'll get a magic stone. Use your chisel on it and you'll get a stone bowl. Head east and climb down the rocks. Then run north back to Juna. Talk to her again and she'll say she'll keep your bowl handy for whenever you come back in the future. And that completes the quest. And now you can go ahead and do the Tears of Gothics minigame. Note that it gives you experience in your lowest unlocked level skill. So obviously if you're any sort of pure or some account where you don't want to level up your lowest skill, stay the heck out of this cave. Otherwise, make sure you unequip your weapon and shield slots and then talk to Juna 
and tell her story and she'll let you into the cave. It's pretty simple, you just want to click on the blue waterfalls to get the tears and avoid the green waterfalls which will deplete the tears in your bowl. The amount of time you can spend in the cave is based on the number of quest points you have, so you can actually spend quite a while in there if you have a lot of quest points. On my main account with 264 quest points, I usually get enough tiers for about 10k experience. The amount of experience per tier is based on the level of the skill it's boosting, with a max of 60 experience per tier when the skill level reaches 30. So you can see here, my 61 tiers got me around 3.6k experience towards my lowest skill, Hunter, and jumped me from 29 to 32. Additionally, once you complete the Lumbridge Hard Diary, you get an extra 10% bonus experience. You can visit the Tears of Guthix once a week if you've completed a new quest or gained 100k experience across all skills. You can check the entry in the quest tab to see if you're eligible to play. And now that you've completed the quest, the Tears of Guthix teleport on the game's necklace is unlocked, so you don't have to go back through the caves. It'll teleport you straight here. And that's all for this quest. I hope you liked it, and thanks for watching.